Today, we're gonna be checking out the official trailer for Witch Hat Atelier, so make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel because I will be watching this when it comes out officially when it releases, okay? Let's check it out. Well, I like that. I like that pic picture book look just now. That was cool. It's just a trailer, but it looked cool. This is a fantasy series. The only thing, literally the only thing I know about Witch Hat Atelier is the boy or girl, can't really tell, sorry, with the, with the, with the, like, the dunce cap looking thing. I mean, you'd think Witch Hat would be like, you know, Witch Hat, but I don't think even think it looked like one. That's on the picture of it, and it's supposed to be really good fantasy like Free Run. That's the only things I know. Oh, that's weird. That's super weird. OST already? Beautiful. If the OST hits like this, mm. they got goats out here. That's not even a real goat. What is that? Oh, this is a fantasy creature. Okay, never mind. This is a story of despair. This is a story of despair and and hope. Oh, and hope, that's good. That befalls children who dream of becoming witches. Oh, I don't like the despair part. Holy shit. Yo. Uh, production studios, Bug Films. Oh, okay. Bug Films is the studio that did uh, Zom 100. They're made up of a lot of people that used to work for OLM. A lot of people that worked on on, on stuff like Comey Can't Communicate and, and, and other OLM projects. They did, like I said, they did uh, Zom 100. So it says 2025. I'm hoping this is a two core back to back. And I'm hoping that Bug Films actually has the fucking time to work on this. I hope that Bug Films, the reason we haven't seen them since Zom 100, which was about a year ago, is because they've been working on this. And I hope that two things. One, no production issues, because production issues can destroy momentum for a series hype, right? One. Two, it has really good animation like that, or really good animation like most of Zom 100 had. If they just have enough time to really just hammer it all down. Eh, what's it? I don't know. Really get in there and make great animation. I think this could be phenomenal. So there's a lot of fantasy elements off rip, right? You got this little fairy looking creature thing. I don't know. This guy right here, this is like an apothecary. I don't even know. No, this is like a, he, he hands out the, the grimoires and wands. Cause that's the wand thing that we see this boy holding. Now I imagine that this, right here is Witch Hat Atelier. But maybe not, maybe this character right here is, and this is just the witch that saves them and then causes them to really truly want to be a witch. I don't know. The witch hats in this are a little less cool than like, cause I think of a witch hat and I'm like, oh yeah, so like Wicked Witch of the West, right? East, whatever. Wicked Witch of the whatever, I, I forgot what direction, all right? She's from some one of these damn compass directions. That's what I think of, but this one's like, almost like a a dunce, dunce cap, right? Is that the term? With a little tassel on it. It's a little odd, you know, but okay. Animation's fucking phenomenal, of course. See, this is the, the hat, that's the witch hat. They have wands, so yeah, I'm assuming that this character is in fact a tellier, or whatever. There's a little bit of story here. Growing up, mom, maybe the mom died? I don't know. Anyways, what's really cool here, fantasy elements like this right here, that's cool. This is an interesting um, scene right here too. I, I see that this is done with CG. 
which I don't have a, a problem with. Like stuff like that is really complicated to pull off. The artwork looks great. The animation looks great. Weird fantasy creatures, oddly, odd town, you know, in its design. It's a very fantastical design. I feel like this, this character just gave them powers or something. I don't know. Interesting, very interesting. This shape on the face, very interesting. I am intrigued. I am very much intrigued. I definitely, definitely wanna watch this when it comes out. Because again, like I mentioned, only things I've I, I've seen of this was the poster. And the only things I've heard about it are that is is a good fantasy on the level of free run. Now, um, maybe they gassed it up too much. Maybe it's not on the level of free run. Maybe, maybe that's a little bit of a reach, you know? But at least really good fantasy, like how free run is good fantasy, you know? The magic looks interesting. I think there's like a grimoire element to it. Yeah, we'll see what happens here. Oh yeah, this thing. This is what I've seen of it. This character right here, which I am assuming is the main character. Bro, and I would be willing to bet that everything we just watched is all episode one shit. It's not even like a crazy take. It's definitely all episode one shit. So literally after the first episode, this trailer is gonna, you know, it's not anything beyond that. I want, I, I'm wondering how far into production they are. Cause again, with bug films, I just don't want them to make the same mistake they made with Zom. Where Zom I thought was really good and extremely interesting, phenomenally animated, but you have the production issues, the delays. Delays will kill the hype for a series. Um, so hopefully they don't have that. I'm excited for Witch Hat Atelier. I think it'll be really great. 2025 bug films. Music is Yuka Kitamura. Yo! Yuka Kitamura helped, wor helped work on Dark Souls. Dark Souls 2, 3, Sekiro, Elden Ring. What? Oh, that's already like, ayo, hey, that's crazy. Okay, so this is like some Elden Ring ass music. Okay, dude, hold on. I've never played the game, by the way. I've never played the game, but I people love it. So I plan to, I wanna play the game. I just don't have the time for it. All right, and then Ayumu Watanabe is the director. Same director for Komi. Okay. Summertime Render. Okay, that's it. I'm good. I don't need to read anymore. That's it, that's all I need. This person has directed summertime rendering. All right. We will see what this has in store for us in 2025. What did you guys think of the trailer? Let me know down in the comments. How do you feel about them telling us who's in charge of things, who's directing, who's doing the music, who the studio is behind it? Bug Films, same one that did Zom 100. What are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't just leave a comment. Also like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.